So the, the reason that we're here tonight, um, we're here indirectly and directly because Dr. Marvin Cook, who started the program uh, in 1968, it was the first master's program at UMBC, started this program. It, it originally started out, uh, the proposal was to be a master's in education, and back then, the process for the uh, Maryland Higher Education Commission was if another school uh, protested it, uh, they could do so, but there was no due process. So another um, very large school with Maryland in their name um, <laughs> said, no, you can't do that because we already have a master's in education. And this is in the late 60s, and Dr. Cook said, okay. And he went back to the drawing board, and he said, I'm proposing a Master of Arts in Instructional Systems Development. And I think the big school with Maryland in its name probably said, well, we're not sure what that is, but go ahead and do it. We have no problem with it. So anyway, Dr. Cook, we named an award, an Outstanding Student Award um, after him. And the award was created to honor the accomplishments and achievements of outstanding students. Um, Dr. Cook was known as a visionary. Uh, a lot of people think our program is like maybe 10, 15 years old, but it's been around since the late 60s. Um, Dr. Cook was recruited here from College Park to come to establish a master's program. And the three major themes of the Outstanding Student Award, which is voted upon and selected by faculty, are academic excellence, excellence service, and entrepreneurship. Um, Dr. Cook, I want to call you to the stage if you want to say a few words. And while, um, while Dr. Cook is making his way to the stage, um, I want to announce the winner of the, the award. And the award winner of the J. Marvin Cook Outstanding Student Award is Dr. Lynn McPherson. Um, let me say a few words about Lynn. Um, Lynn is a professor and vice chair of the University of Maryland School of Pharmacy, Department of uh, Pharmacy Practice and Science. Um, she has a history of accomplishments. She's really someone who I think goes by the motto, your learning never ends, because why did she need this program? Well, she really didn't. She's very successful in, in her own academic career. But she's taught, uh, she's won a number of t uh, prestigious teaching awards. She's authored uh, four books um, when she has some spare time. I'm not sure when that is. But uh, she likes to read and do needlepoint. She's here with her husband and, and her family tonight. And um, what I'm going to do is have Dr. Cook say a few words, and then, Lynn, you can come up to the stage. Dr. Cook? As you notice what I was doing before I got up here, I was going to try to go around. Lean a little forward okay. so they pick you up with the mic. All right. As you notice what I was doing, uh, I was going around networking, and that's for purpose, because if you sit back and let people come to you, you're missing half of them. So I'm urging you to consider that. I have a few words to say. Basically, 40 years ago, seven UMBC faculty members worked with passion and focus as they began the process of developing UMBC's ISD training systems graduate program. Over the years, the program has been recognized for the achievement level of its students, and is still being recognized for the same reason. Today, it is with great pleasure that one among you has been chosen to receive the Dr. J. Marvin Cook Outstanding Student Award. Dr. Williams will introduce her, and I'm going to say this. She represents you and I in the IFL field, ISD field extremely well, and I thank you and wish you well. Dr. Cook, can you, can you remain standing for a moment, please? All right, Lynn, I'm going to give you the black. I'd like to present Lynn McPherson with the Dr. J. Marvin Cook Outstanding Student Award. Lynn? Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so incredibly honored to have been selected for this award. I work with so many brilliant people during this degree. Uh, it's, I'm very touched that I was selected. If you could indulge me for just a moment, I'd like to share the first time I heard the name Dr. Marvin Cook. About 15 or 16 years ago at the School of Pharmacy, one of my colleagues took a sabbatical for a year 
to study here at UMBC under Dr. Cook's tutelage. After his sabbatical, he came back to the School of Pharmacy and threw our curriculum out the window. He turned it on its head. He started with the end in mind. I was learning about mind maps and curricular maps and so forth, starting with those terminal performance objectives. And if I had a dollar every time I heard Dr. Marvin Cook, I think I could buy this building. <clears throat> But what I couldn't buy was the amazing, outstanding curriculum that we had at the end of that process that frankly catapulted my school into the top 10 literally in the universe of pharmacy education. And I said to myself, self, you know, you ought to get off your ear end and get this degree yourself. That's pretty awesome. So fast forward about 12 or 13 years and I said, you know, you're not getting any younger here, Cupcake. You better get going if you want to do this. <laughs> So I signed up and I was excited and I said, now look, don't get too excited. If 50% of it meets your needs, you're like way ahead of the game. So I'm a, a big believer in that adult principal learning uh, technique called WIFM, what's in it for me. Uh, so I was delighted to find out that virtually every single course I took met my needs. It was, it was a dream come true. The faculty are amazing to work with, uh, from Dr. Williams to Dr. Hodel. Jeanette Campos made me learn 20 flipping social media applications along with all the usernames and passwords without the benefit of drug therapy, but uh, it was amazing. Uh, certainly, I did want to throw my computer in the pool with that Captivate stuff, but I figure if I can do that, I can really dominate Camtasia, so it's all good. So, uh, but it's been an awesome experience, and thank you so much. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Dr. Cook. So I, I think um, Dr. Cook doesn't realize maybe at times how much impact he's, he's had upon uh, people because it's, it's amazing, I think, the number of people that the program that he started uh, has impacted o over the years. And there's definitely a multiplier effect. So Dr. Cook, thank you very much. And Lynn, congratulations once again. <laughs>